Hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, part four of our ship in a bottle tutorial. Well, we've come a long way since when we started three weeks ago, but there's still a long way to go. So without further ado, let's get over to the bench and get going on this build. Well, in order to attach our spars, we use thread. And for that, we're going to put a piece of thread through one of our holes. It'll be the hole closest to the mast. And once we get that done, we're going to put a little bit of CA glue on the thread. And once we get the CA glue on there, we will twist our thread and let it dry and that will form our pivot point for our spars. So there's one done. So we will attach a thread just like that, twisting it in place for each one of these and then we can attach them into the mast. And once the CA glue is dried here for these two spars, we can just trim off the excess sticking out the opposite side. So with those two installed, we're going to do the same thing with the front mast and then uh, I'll come back and see you. Well, it is now time to start the rigging on the mast and what we're going to put in first will be the rat lines and that will be the lines that go over the mast to support it on either side. Now, something you want to keep in mind here is that we need to drill wires into the side of our hull in order to house these ropes and riggings. However, you need to have the, f the forwardmost rope or rat line has to be either equal with or behind our mast. That way it can still fold when it comes down to it. If it's not, um, if it's not behind the mast, the mast isn't going to fold. It's just going to jam and it's not going to allow it to fold up. So I'm going to mark these holes and we're going to get our jeweler's drill and drill them and we are going to glue in our wires. Now these wires are much longer than we need them to be. We will trim them afterwards, um, but for now, just keep gluing them in. And there you go. I have glued in a total of five wires for this mast. I'm going to duplicate that on the other side and I'm also going to do it for the front mast. So I don't think we need a video of it. It's the exact same procedure and I'll see you when I get all those wires in place. Okay, well I've turned the boat the other way just so that you guys can see a little better and also so that I can see my mast so that as I'm attaching the um, rigging onto the mast, I'm not pulling it one side or the other, that I'm keeping it straight in the middle. So the first thing that I want to do is around 
the wire that we put mid-mast here, I'm going to tie a knot and secure it onto that hook. There we go, finally. <laughs> so using one piece of thread, you want to make sure that your mast is upright, both front to back and side to side. Make sure that it's in the position you want it in. There we go, just like that. And we're going to bring our line down and then over to the fourth most pin. And then we're going to go back up over our hook. And then we're going to go into the two middle pins. Being sure that you don't do what I just did and pull it too tight and have your mask collapse. That's okay. We'll just straighten it back up. So there we go, just like that. And then around the two middle ones. And then back up over your hook again. And there we have our first set of rat lines attached. So we can, um, at this point now, if we're happy with the placement here, what we can do is put a drop of glue up at the top here to hold it in place and as well a drop of glue along each one of the bottom wires and because we're behind the mast I'll just hold this in place it's not glued so I'll just hold it here so that you can see that it works because we're behind it once we go to insert it in our bottle you can see how all of those rat lines are just going to drop down and then as we pull our mast up and get it into place they will tighten again to have them back where they belong. So following that process, a knot at the top, go around the two outside ones. Don't do the fifth one. That fifth one is for this top hook. So around the fourth one and then do the two inside ones and then finish it at the top with a drop of glue. Once you get all four of those done, making sure that your mast is not leaning left or right, uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with this last fifth one. And that's all of our rat lines in place. And they look loose, but of course that's because the masts are leaning back. But once we get the mast pulled up to the positions that they should be in, you can see that those rat lines are going to be nice and tight and they'll be looking great. So we now need to put the last line in place. So we're just going to tie our line to our top loop. Just like this. And we'll do another knot. And while holding our mast in place where it's supposed to be, just like this, we're going to come down here, loop around our last piece of wire that we put in. Just like that, and then back up to the top. And for that, once we get that finished, then we can put a drop of glue at the top, one at the bottom, and once it's cu cured, cut off our loose ends. Now our masts are slack right now, but if we pull them up to where they're supposed to be, you can see how nicely those lines come into play. Now that they're all glued in and you're done those riggings, you can cut off all of these uh, metal wires that you put in here to wrap your riggings around. So there you go. Cut the rest of them off and then we're going to install the main lines of the ship. Well, to start off with the main line, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around so I can get at the stern of the boat. Now, right here in the back, right below our 
um, spar, we're going to drill a hole right in the middle there of our hull. And once we get that drilled, we're going to glue in a wire. And we'll just push this into the hole here that we just drilled. Just like that. And we'll let that set up. Now I've cut a piece of thread that's long enough here that by the time it uh, is done, it's going to be long enough to reach outside of the bottle once the ship is installed, because that is how we're going to raise our masts and put them back to where they belong. So the first thing that we are going to do is tie this thread to our wire that we just installed. So we'll just glue that in place. Okay, and once we get it glued there, we'll just cut off our little piece of extra, just like this. All right, so on the other end of our thread, I have actually dipped it in CA glue and then hit it with accelerator, which forms kind of like a needle for us to work with here. And we are gonna thread this up through both of our rear spars here. So we're going to pull this up through the lower spar at the rear. I know it looks like a lot of thread, but we're going to need that later. There we go, up through here. And then it will go up through our top spar You see how nicely that CA glue covered thread just goes right through there, just like a needle. All right, there we go. And now this one is gonna go through the top hole of our rear mast, right here. And then it's gonna go through the middle hole of our forward mast. Oh, I got a tangle here, no problem. Just take our time. There you go, right through the middle hole of that forward mast, just like that. And then it's gonna come down through the center hole, right here in our bowsprit. Oh, what have I got done here? I got it tied around in a knot around the bowsprit. Okay, no problem. We'll just, there we go, fixed. So just like that. Okay, so this is now one of our main lines. So I'm gonna attach a screw down here so that we can wrap these threads around just to keep them in place uh, while we're messing around with the other ones. Well, right through the lower hole that we drilled in the forward mass, we're going to install another thread. There we go. And now this will go through the closest hole in our bowsprit. And we'll just pull this through, not all the way though, because we want to tie it around our mast. And once we get it tied in place there, we're gonna put a drop of CA glue on it hit it with the sun accelerator to get it to instantly cure, and then we can cut off the extra end. There we go, just like that. And just a little drop of CA glue there. 
onto the knot. Give it a blast of accelerator. There we go, done. And we'll cut off the extra thread. All right, so there's one more to install, but that requires another, uh, another piece of wire to be put in. So right below or right behind our spar here on our forward mass, we're just going to put one more pin right here. This will be in line with our uh, the hole in the back of our spar. So for that we're going to glue in another piece of wire. Just like we did the other ones. And we're going to take another long piece of thread and we're going to tie it onto that wire that we just put in there. Now, if we hurry, we can still use the same glue that we just put on. There we go, just like that. So I'm going to cut it long enough, just like I did the other one, so that it'll reach outside the bottle and we will thread it. We're going to thread it right up through the bottom spar into the upper spar. It's going to go up and into the top hole of our front mast and then down onto the very end hole of our bowsprit. And now we can cut that wire off. And we can also cut off our excess thread for that. And then, like I said, this, this thread now will come up through this spar. Just like this. up through our second spar through the top hole of the front mast and then it will end up coming out the front hole of the bowsprit So let's get these threads all secured and uh, I'll show you what we've got. And with all the rigging tightened and temporarily tied off, you end up with this. Now, this looks great as far as I'm concerned. However, there's still more to do. We need to add the sails. And for that, we're going to need some paper, believe it or not. And unfortunately, once again, that's all the time we have for this week. And believe it or not, there's still quite a bit to go on this build. Guys, the purpose of this series is not to get it done quickly. It's not to fire through and show you, look, what I made. It's not to get through it quickly. Its purpose is to get through it so that you can have the confidence to make your own ship in a bottle. It's not to get me through it. It's to get you through it. So hopefully you're enjoying the pace of this build and hopefully you're getting enough information that you're able to make your own. If you haven't already, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. As I said, there's a lot more to come on this build and we're going to continue that next week. I hope that you're enjoying the content so far. I honestly hope you're going to try this for yourself, and more importantly, guys, I hope you're going to join me next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.